डियर व्यूअर्स असलम वरम वर्क टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द स्परिचुअल बेनिफिट्स ऑफ रमदान एंड ऑल्सो द फिज़िकल बेनिफिट्स ऑफ रमदान सो वाट आर द स्परिचुअल बेनिफिट्स ऑफ रमदान फर्स्ट इज लर्निंग सेल्फ रिस्ट्रेंट लर्निंग पेशेंस एंड पाइटी द कुरान सेज इन सूर बकरा सूरत नंबर टू आयत नंबर वन एटी थ्री अल्लाह सेज कि या यदीन आमन कुतिब आलकम सयाम कम कुतिब आलदीन अमन कबल कम डकुम तक तकुन दैट अल्लाह सेज दैट फास्टिंग हैज़ बिन ओ यू बिलीव फास्टिंग हैज़ बिन प्रस्क्राइब टू यू एज़ इट वॉज प्रस्क्राइब टू पीपल बिफोर यू सो दैट लकुम तक तकुन सो दैट यू विल लर्न सेल्फ रिस्ट्रेंड सो दैट यू विल बिकम पायस सो दैट यू विल बिकम राइचस सो द गोल ऑफ फास्टिंग इज दैट वन शुड बिकम pious one should learn patience and self restraint that is when one is fasting that one is not only giving up his food and drink and his desire for sexual intercourse not only that but he is also giving up evil actions he is also giving up false speech because when he is fasting he will remember that he is fasting and he will try to be honest he'll try to be truthful he'll try to leave all sorts of wrong actions he'll try to be be truthful he'll try to be righteous so that is the goal of fasting that is you become righteous prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam he said in, in the hadith of bukhari hadith number 1903 that prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam said man lam yada qawla zur that whosoever does not give up false speech wal amal that is false actions also that is evil actions also if one does not give up that then allah does not require him to leave his food and drink that means that if you are fasting that is you are leaving your food and drink and but still you are committing uh, evil actions you are being dishonest you are do- doing fraud you are doing wrong to people so allah does not require you to leave your food and drink that is not fasting that is not the goal of fasting the goal of fasting is that you become righteous that you become that you become pious you learn patience so if you learn if you become pious then you have achieved the goal of fasting that is the goal of ramadan so one one will learn this self is restrained that if one is able to hold himself from Uh, being dishonest from leaving if somebody smokes and if he is able to control that for the whole day then he he may give up that that means if someone is uh, committing a sin then if he is able to prevent himself from that sin during the fasting period then he can inshallah leave that sin for good forever so that is the goal of fasting that you become righteous pious and that you learn patience so how one will learn patience that one is being patient at food and drink that he is not eating he is not drinking but he is patient so one learns this patience also in his life to cope up with the life the stresses the dealings of the life he learns patience he become more sound he become more patient he become more content and satisfied so that is the goal uh, of fasting that is the first spiritual benefit of fasting the second spiritual benefit of fasting that is zuhd that is the development of zuhd so zuhd is the detachment from the worldly life that is the detachment from the love of this dunya so how does uh, this zuhd will develop in a person because the hadith, there is a hadith of prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam in ibn majah hadith number 4142 that prophet said unzuru ila man huwa asfala minkum that look at those who are beneath you and do not look at those who are above you that means that look at those who have less bounty than you those who have less grace of allah than you that is there are many people in the world those who are not able to satisfy their basic needs they are not they are they, there are people who don't have houses there are people who don't get to eat meals in a day two to three meals they are not getting that is that is they are literally just surviving that means you look at those people who are beneath you 
then you will realize how much bounty Allah has given to you. Then there will be development of contentment inside you. There will be development of satisfaction with what Allah has given you. And zuhud will develop in you that you will, uh, you will cut off your, yourself from the love of this dunya. You, the love of this dunya will not carry you forward, but rather the will of Allah, the pleasure of Allah, the pleasure of Allah will carry you forward. How? When you realize the bounty of Allah upon you, when you try to look at everything from this perspective only, that then you will be grateful. That if you look up, see if you are having the basic needs, that is if you are having a house to live in and to eat, and that you are able to have food and drink in a day and you are a, and you have clothes and that is sufficient for you that is the basic need even so many people in this world millions of people don't even possess that if you have that that is alhamdulillah and if you have more than that is alhamdulillah many times so that is the thing then zuhd will develop in you and what is this life only just like mere 20 30 years that you have that youth that will that after after that you will get weakened in old age and your youth will go away your money your wealth will go away everything will go away that in this fasting you will realize that this fasting that the most important thing that is is your food and drink and the basic necessities that is the main thing and many people are not able to have that and then you will become more generous you will spend more in the way of allah if you have if Allah has given you much, then you will become more generous by realizing the fact that there are so many people in the world who in the world who don't have this basic need, who, who don't have these the basics of life. That is, they don't have even food to eat, they don't have clothes, they don't have house, houses to live in. So that is what, how zuhd will develop. That you will. The love of this dunya will not carry you forward, but the pleasure of Allah will carry you forward. And the third point is, that is salvation. That is the nijat, that is getting to paradise. So, the hadith, it says that, Iza ja Ramadan, that when Ramadan comes, Fatihat abwaabul jannah, the gates of paradise are open. It says in hadith, in Bukhari hadith number 1901, that Prophet Muhammad said, that man sana, Ramadan, Iman and Wahtisam and Ghafir al min zambi. That whoever fasts in the month of Ramadan with belief, with Iman and with sincerity, with hope, with expecting reward from Allah, then all his previous sins will be forgiven. Wahtisam, expecting reward from Allah. That if you expect that you will be forgiven, you will be for forgiven. You will get your reward from Allah that is paradise so if you get Ramzan and if you pray if you fast and if you seek the pleasure of Allah properly you will inshallah get salva salvation that is the third and the most important uh, spiritual benefit of Ramadan that is salvation that is if you fast prop properly with pure intention and you pray and you devote your time in worship and in seeking the pleasure of Allah, inshallah you will get salvation. Ask Allah for Jannah, Allahumma inni as'alukal Jannah. Oh Allah, I seek Jannah from you. So that is the third and the main important spiritual benefit of fasting.